I think I'm trying to like create an entire language to describe quantum gravity and the only problem is that a quantum deals with the small and then in order to read a language you have to be able to see it and so that's kind of hard when the phenomenon from down there isn't quite um, able to be seen with bare eyes unless it has seismic scalability because it's so acute when the availability of crystals are somewhat seen inside of a germination the the small range of it germinating has crystal like phenomenon separate it can resemble it and that's not the same as it used to be or as it lags so much it doesn't seem like it's even apparent anymore one thing that could be upgraded is a modem and they could say that this has vast quantities of why the internet isn't really working anymore well why wouldn't they just go out front and say that it would be okay something as though all they had to do is just go out and say it instead we're left with the internet that just keeps lagging so much that it's kind of like an earpiece dropping out of the ear when it has so low levels of something at least you can feel it when it's about to slip out that it would seem almost more logical for it to start dropping in order for it to catch up this is called reverse engineering and the logic and such is nothing that should be but at some stance when it's so bad at working it's almost as if it should if you have a giant building that has all these different places in it, it's almost as though it's a chemical reaction that has like just one. And food, it's, the goal of it is to grow it so it doesn't all taste the same. Or what would that mean to bacteria if bacteria had the same constitute? And in order to put my thumb on it, I have to like look at all these images of just like light and liquid and the breaks in between and the attention of like the bad guy or the good guy it's always in like position of in frame or out of frame is just like the horizon of your peripheral vision when you can't see something it's the same concept so at the larger scale of global i don't want that to happen to individuals because we're all just like a bag of molecules and so if you're handling eugenics, which is a niche category in biology, where you're um, making a biometric out of thin air, almost as like when uh, they said, this is how long a foot is, it's the king's foot. So then um, 12 inches it is. But to make a um, new biometrics uh, with eugenics being in the forefront, driving that is just as like you're looking closer and closer at one atom and then you're utilizing what molecular reactions are doing. And then you're just jumping back and forth through loopholes. If you're aiming out what is non-essential, it's ostensibly the same thing would happen in Gotham City when everything went under. There was a guy named something, but he turned out to be a, a firefly. And this was because he knew lighting from theatrics he knew staging and so he knew the staging lighting theatrics and when gotham went under and everyone didn't have money to go see the theater he took up crime and he used the skills that were being called insubordinate and then he staged these fantastic crimes utilizing all of his staging techniques and this is humbling because 
is something that I wanted to do with engineering, how um, making everything so well tuned that it would be equal to um, a special effect in a movie. Just because at scales that large, you're able to focus on minuscule things and so that the breaks in them are utilized as like flash photography. And so this guy was going to be getting back financially and then R Batman and Robin stopped him. I know I'm harping on the internet. It's kind of like slow and people are saying big deal. Just go to a coffee shop or a library and get the internet. But I'm aiming at a bigger just, it's just hard to put my thumb on it. When it's power of different manipulations in a million years, if it's just like the elite running everything because no one else is around, it would have had to have been from some things that are manipulating currently, such as rewriting everything with a synthetic biomaterial. So quantitative or quality associated. It's just like when you're playing a video game, if you smash a whole bunch of buttons together, you can do a whole bunch of really cool special moves without even trying to versus a player who knows all the special moves and they're utilizing them, but they're not as fluid as the handles of the Curse of Cain, which would be when you're um, bound to like certain places. And then with the places that you're bound to is um, utilized against you. The moment that you subdue yourself to fear, it doesn't trigger your DNA to activate or your soul to have a prominent stance. This is the opposite of the following example. I'm about to say it's some example that's like happy, but just imagine if it were utilized just with bad things, so it was sad. If you have like 30 different figures of the fondest memories that would be incorporated as figures and they weren't really to scale meaning that the masks that make up their facial features were subpar and then they were displayed inside of a building so you could walk around and look at all of them boy these familiar figures they sure have really interesting facial structures almost as i remember them but they're not looking that great because they weren't that well done. But lo and behold, looking at each of them in different rooms, it really encapsulates the um, overall pleasure that I remember all of them as. And then you leave the building with the experience that was full as opposed to just having one figurine that looked exactly like you remembered it and you enjoyed that. Wouldn't you rather like to see all of them other than just one? Now that's an opinion, but in the totality, the, the more of them with subpar facial features would encounter a better experience than just having one that was really good. And then this one judge said, um, that's the example, if it was a wax museum, uh, this judge says like it's qu not quanti quality, it's quantitative, not quali quality. If you've ever had a lag on the internet, it could be through the internet just being bad, but why is it bad? And food, is, the goal of it is to grow it so it doesn't all taste the same. Or what would that mean to bacteria if bacteria had the same constitute? When something isn't working on the internet, it's almost as if though it was a Bluetooth out of range. But what if you could use a crappy Bluetooth 
in order for a crappy internet to find some sort of reverse engineering in order for it to both hit on it seems as though that would be more evitable to work than just trying to find a hot spot that seems to almost not exist. Do you know how slow an internet could be? As if like a modem had to like have an interchange of it coming back, but when it's so far down, the bandwidth, you have to be a tech head in order to know that it's something as though the interplay of a seismic change where if you can't feel that it's not going to be working and you're just blindsided by it, you almost would think that if shutting it off and on would be a pattern you could find to make it work that much better.